I'm just snapping off some stills. Did you hear that? Over there? A knock? Not the plane. Oh. Oh, I got weird. Is there a, there's a hair on that? Oh, jeez, it's getting a core on that. <laughs> that looks so freaky. It was like... <laughs> it was a hair. So a lot of weird stuff was happening in the theater. The place I want to take you next should actually give us more activity. It's the older part of the school. This is where they used to actually live when this was a boarding school. There's also an art room over there. The teacher, who did not want her name revealed, was having trouble with things being moved on her. She would constantly lose things. Her keys, again, would be misplaced and she would not be able to leave the building. She was starting to really believe that there was paranormal activity going on. She would hear noises, she would hear footsteps. She thought she heard voices one night when she was over there alone. She decided to have a seance. She brought out a Ouija board, started to ask a bunch of questions. When this happened, there's showers over there that have not been in use since this was a boarding school over a hundred years. They're actually boarded up right now. They all turned out um, and she could not get to them to turn them off. So the rooms actually began to flood. She called facilities. She called the security guards. By the time they had gotten up there, the showers were off, but the floors were soaking wet. Everything was wet. They said, there's no water that goes to this side of the school. I can confirm that because it is documented. Uh, the security guards have a report of having to come out and just that the floor was wet and that they have no explanation of it. Needless to say, she was freaked out and she left. And to this day, a lot of weird stuff happens. It's documented too. Students go over and they hear people walking. They hear sounds like people crying, which again, plays into the story of the gray nun who was so upset um, about her lost love that she ended up committing suicide. How long ago uh, was the whole thing with the seance? It was while I was working here. I, I was not here that night, but I, I heard about it. The teacher that um, actually did the seance is still employed here. This was maybe two years ago. So we're gonna go over there. Um, it's closer to the convent, so maybe we will see the Grey Nun. All right, <laughs> let's go check it out. These behind you are actually the showers that turned on in that story, and as you can see, they're boarded up, okay? So no one can get back there unless they climb up and over to get in there. And even if you do that, because I have done it, if you spin the faucets, no water comes on. The fact that all of these showers turned on and the sinks turned on at the same time is a big deal. It's creepy, man. I like the snap. A lot of still pictures. Later on, when you throw them on a big screen, sometimes you see stuff that you didn't necessarily see when you were there. Who was that? Lens flare? Glenda, Good Witch of the North? What do you think? It's an orb. That is definitely an orb. And the location that it is, I'll take you up that hallway. Here's the art room where the seance took place. Yeah. Here's the dance studio where they say a lot of activity is. So maybe it's going in between the rooms. I don't know. I'll just snap another picture off. Okay, with a flash. There it is again. Is it? So it's not just a uh, nope. an anomaly. Oh, it moved. It moved. Oh, my camera's not working. No, nope. I took too long. It's not there anymore. Shh. Is there anyone here with us that would like to communicate?
Can you make a sound? There was an art teacher that got pretty scared over here. She said he turned all the sinks and the showers on. Is that you? That's all. Can you turn this sink on right now? Come talk to us. We don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk. Are you the great nun? Zoom into that one. And it's... Whoa, whoa, down, down, down. That's what I'm saying. It moved.